Now, many of us are constantly on our device checking our social media accounts. And for some people, it's actually the source of daily worry and anxiety. Back in the Harvey Norman Lounge with some great advice on how to avoid and alleviate that stress is yoga instructor Erin O'Hara. Good morning, Erin. Hi. Now, a lot of people have this stress, but have you actually found that you find it firsthand that people coming to you have got this stress? Yeah, stress is a big thing and social media really feeds into that. Um, I work with people with eating disorders and we're in a naturopathic clinic as well. And um, that really affects their um, worry and anxiety levels as they get so addicted into following social media and trying to live these lives of the best 10% of people's lives. So that's the, is that the stat? So pretty much it's, it's the 10% we're showing, yeah, which is all the good stuff, not the bad, pretty much. Well, generally people only show their best moments. Yeah. They're not going to show when they're in a really horrible space. No. And so a lot of teenagers in their early 20s are following these lives on social media, thinking that's the real world. And if they're not meeting that, then they're not good enough. Right. And that's leading to anxiety and then even social anxiety that they don't even want to interact with the world. Because they're scared that it doesn't live up. Because they don't, they don't fit in. So um, social media can affect people's moods as well. And, and, and does it make them feel a bit depressed, I, I guess, yeah. self-depreciative, you know? Because people are always comparing themselves to these perfect pictures, which you don't know if they're getting photoshopped or if they're the real thing. Um, and so they're comparing themselves and trying to be that. And I've even had clients that are trying to really mimic a person that they really admire on social media. And the level of anxiety of having to just always check what this person's up to or, or the people that they follow are up to to try and fit in. Or look and great on that selfie. Or, yeah. 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 Okay, does it impact, do you think, um, teenagers and younger people more? I definitely. So under sort of 25 age group is, is the big age group. Um, but it is hitting the other older age group with um, ones with the little kids. Because to, to, to have something to do, they're ending up filling up their time on social media. Um, and then looking at all these lives and going, wow, I don't fit in with that. I don't meet those um, requirements. Or oh, my kid's not doing that at this moment and it's the same age. What's wrong? What's wrong? Yeah, yeah. constantly. So how can yoga actually help this? So yoga is um, going to really bring you back to yourself and your own real life and what you're really feeling. And that's really the essence of yoga. But also the breathing side, it really helps with managing with the anxiety um, and working with some breath work and really calming the nervous system down. And also pulling you away from having to be attached to a device for a moment in your day of actually turning the phone off and, and actually doing something for yourself that's actually nourishing yourself. So, I, I mean, uh, that putting it away yeah. and like actually living in the moment, in your own moment. In your own life. In your own life, yeah, feeling your own feeling. So um, have you got some something you can show us yeah. that could help? I'll show you a couple of things. Um, one little yoga posture that I always love and whenever, and I know people are like, oh, I'm always stiff, but actually one thing that always make you feel good, and I call it the miracle bends. And it's just simply like breathing in as you stretch up really big and then breathing out as you reach down. And you can do a few rounds of this and it's always gonna make you feel better and clear any um, imbalances in your energy. Energy. Okay, and I'm then, looking at that, and anyone looking at home who's maybe feeling a little bit insecure about how far down you can get to the floor, <laughs> it's all right how far you it go. Doesn't it matter. doesn't matter. I, I remember when I started yoga, it was like here, and that was like it. And I was like, oh yeah, I'm never going to be a yoga teacher because I can't touch them with the ground on my toes. But it's actually a journey, and if you did this every day, you'd eventually get there. You'll get down um, to it. Yeah. Right, okay. And it's, it's a journey in itself, and, and it takes practice. using your breathing through it as well. So is there anything else you can do? I, I, you talked about meditation. Meditation's the biggest thing with anxiety. So any sort of anxiety, depression, um, social anxiety, any breathing work is gonna help you calm your nervous system down. Now the breath that I love the most, which you can do at home, and even if you've only got like two minutes to do some so breathing. So in the car or something? In the car, yeah. I probably wouldn't do it in the car. Well, maybe when you're parked. <laughs> when you're parked, <laughs> not when you're driving, um, is Nadi Shodhana, which is an alternate nostril breath and it's simply bringing your right hand up and locking off your right nostril yeah. breathing in through the left side and then the little finger goes across like a lever and breathing out through the right side and then breathing back in the right side 
and out through the left side. And why, you know, there's a lot of tools to this, but that's the real key thing that gets you out of your mind. And that's the whole purpose of a pranayama or a breathing technique, is to take you away from what you're thought thinking and going over this over and over the same thoughts and actually give you a center and a focus. And, and so should, should, that you, breathing should you breathe in so for a certain number of beats? And or? the slower you go, the calmer you're gonna feel. So, and also making the inhale and the exhale equal will also help you feel really calm. Any other great tips that anyone can take away today? Any sort of breathing. So whenever you get anxious is just calming down with the breath and also with the social media thing. One way to like pull yourself away from it is having a rule that you don't check social media when you first wake up in the morning and when you first go to bed at yeah. night. Like that shouldn't be the first and last thing you do in your day. It can be just coming into your body, breathing, it's kicking off your day and then look at social media later in the day and it means that you're actually connecting to your life rather than somebody else's life. Fantastic advice as always Erin, thanks so much for coming in. Thanks for having me.